I give you instructions. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Punches here are good. Punches here are good. Good luck to you. Take love. Vladimir Klitschko seems so perfect, you wonder what's wrong with him. Can Corey Sanders find out? Many in boxing will not share that enthusiasm, Larry, until he produces more quick knockouts and appears to attack more aggressively. But Vladimir says, in the heavyweight division, you cannot take a risk. And against Sanders, he's fighting a big punch. And as you can see, the, the small ring doesn't really help Klitschko, but he likes to jump back after a punch and before a punch. He's aggressive, but he loves jumping backward. Good jab by Sanders got in. And, and Sanders love movement. And Sanders love his movement too, so you would like to see one get a little more aggressive to make this small ring work. Vladimir Klitschko, usually an aggressive jabber. As Corey Sanders lines up in his southpaw profile, it may be more difficult for Vladimir to get the jab in. Hard left hand by Corey Sanders moved Klitschko back to the center of the ring off the ropes. If Klitschko does have a bad habit, Larry, it is that sometimes he backs straight up with his head up against an attacking fighter. That's yeah. the kind of thing that could cause big problems against Sanders. Well, if you're tall like that, it doesn't matter because you can almost see over the top. It's the shorter guys backing up who get into a lot of trouble. You got the reach and height and do whatever you like. Sanders is holding his gloves high, which is how Ross Purity fought Klitschko. Kept his hands up. Made Klitschko punch a lot. Sanders acknowledges that he has a natural tendency to trade punches, and he has a natural tendency to square his body up and fight. He says he'll have to fight both those tendencies here tonight because he wants to try to present a more elusive target to Vladimir. Left hook lands for Klitschko, right hand to the body. Left hand by Sanders, snaps Klitschko's head back. A lot of that soft paws can get you just when ordinarily you can't be gotten because they are just on the wrong side. That may be one of the few times we've seen Klitschko hit with a good solid punch by a good puncher. He hits hit again and holds. The problem Klitschko is having, he's got his knees bent, lowering his height for more. become the last big bust if he go down again although the clock is running out on this round so Vladimir Klitschko is down twice in the opening round against Corey Sanders and all of Germany holds it and he wobbles back to the corner give you the bucket, give you the bucket. this is okay are you okay as they speak German and click those okay? corner, our interpreter here. is Johannes Willerbeck. Yeah, come on, go in there, boy. Be careful. Remember your training, boy. Remember all we practice today. Keep this here. Hold this right here. This is okay. It's no problem. Open your mouth. Uh, here are questions being asked. A perfect left hand asked of Klitschko he's never been asked before how does he deal with adversity that's what we all wanted to see and he has got a lot of adversity to deal with right here oh we know what Hasim Rachman was able to do in this situation he was able to come back and knock Sanders out now Klitschko's down a third time and there are two minutes 53 seconds to go in this round and he's not seeing that left hand come 
He just cannot see the left hand that Sanders is hitting him with. And he's attacking to try to get out of trouble instead of holding. And this is not going to go well. Another knockdown. The fourth side. And the referee, Gennaro Rodriguez, stops the fight. And thus ends the Vitaly Klitschko, or the Vladimir Klitschko Express. You can look at Klitschko's body. There's still not much sweat on him at all. Leaving out of the dressing room, waiting for the shoulder in. Body is dry as a bone. It can happen to anybody at any time. You've got to loosen up before you get into the ring. We've seen it too many times before. Well, the one thing that was unknown about Vladimir coming into this fight was what would happen if he got tagged by a legitimate puncher. Now we know. Well, what happened to him is what happens to most heavyweights when they get hit by a big heavyweight's best shot. But nevertheless, this is a shock to the boxing world. And once again, the I think it's a shock to your world, Larry. No, I, I think don't think the boxing world is that surprised. I mean, it doesn't surprise well, it, you it, sometimes when the guys fight. It shocks me, a certainly. Lot of the different places he fought. And uh, it's not a surprise. A, of course, you would think that Corey Sanders would be the least guy to do this to him. But fought a lot of hometown fights in different places. Well, let's just point out that, that it isn't just HBO, which had been enthusiastic about Vladimir Klitschko. He's been number one in the Ring Magazine rankings, unaffected by politics, for more than a year. So it, there are many who had anointed him as the how, many, how, how affected everybody is with politics. You'd be surprised. Well, I would. I'm not sure what you're referring to, George. No, I mean, you just can't. People saw him as a great, great And he prospect. still is a great prospect. Well, he got no, caught I cold. Think, I think now, now there's the, the question that was asked of him, he did not answer. He can come back. The way a fighter is supposed to. George, you're the he one who pointed back. out that what a, a, a great heaven. And whether you felt how vulnerable he was well you know when i caught him there you know i could have seen his eyes he's got like a skin you know and i knew uh, that uh, you know he can't take shots and that's when i thought you know uh, you gotta go and, and just you know catch him with a great lift and uh, which definitely happened and uh, he was gone i knew you know it's just a matter of time and gonna catch him again and so that even when you got to round two you knew it was over for sure you know when he walked to the corner he was gone uh, I mean, I know myself also, you know, when a guy catches you once, it's hard to get back. And uh, which surprised me, basically, the night was, you know, he didn't use his jab like I know he used it. And uh, I took advantage of it. I know this is unexpected also at this time. Do you have any plans now to either fight Vitaly Klitschko, who challenged you twice in the ring? What was that? No, I don't know. Uh, my opinion, it's, I think he's a bad sportsman, to be honest, you know. Uh, you win some, you lose some, and he came to me, and I'll take back, and I'll get you back, and all that, because I beat his brother, so, uh, you know, well, bad luck for him, he had the title, and I'm not looking at him. Thank you very much, again, congratulations, Corey Sanders. Thank you very much. Jim? And Vladimir Klitschko, following his crushing defeat, waited in the ring, graciously, he too now stands by with Larry. Thank you, Jim. Vladimir? Did you not take this opponent seriously enough? Uh, I think seriously enough, and uh, of course, uh, I have uh, product mistakes in the fight. And of course, I have to anal analyze that in the future. And uh, for me, it means uh, welcome to the boxing business, because all big champions was losing the fight. And uh, so it's happening. And of course, I will give my best, and I will uh, have a rematch with Corey Sanders, and uh, then I will show what I can do. Are you s telling us that you have a rematch clause in your contract? Uh, believe me, I will get the rematch. I have the right on that. All right. Were you having difficulty seeing his left hand? Or did that first punch come as such a shock that you never fully recovered? Of course, he's a tough fighter, and uh, he has a really uh, quick hands. And uh, for me, it's the decision point that I will more focus on the fight. And uh, of course, I will do it in the future. Let's take a look at the fight as it unfolded, and you tell us what you see, Vladimir. This is the first knockdown. So, of course, uh, the mistake was that uh, I would like to shoot him. 
with my right hand, and he, he was faster than I am. He got under your left, y your right hand, and he threw his left hand. Exactly. exactly. And by that time, do you recall, were you conscious at all? Do you know what was going on? Uh, of course, it's difficult to focus on the fight uh, if you uh, get the punch. And uh, so what I can do, it, I just can show in the future uh, that I'm uh, better. Between rounds, what were you thinking? Uh, between rounds, of course, I have to focus on his uh, fast hands, and uh, actually, that's it. Your brother Vitali was so upset after the fight that he challenged Corey Sanders. So who's going to get him get to fight him first, you or your brother? No, it was nothing, uh, nothing bad between Corey Sanders and Vitali. He Vitali just said that uh, he will return back the belt to the family, and uh, that's it. Of course, Whittle is uh, right now contender number one in WBC, and uh, I hope he will fight against Lennox Lewis. And with Corey Sanders, I will uh, take a rematch. I know you're being philosophical, but how disappointed are you? I'm really disappointed on my person right now, but uh, I know that I just have to learn. Long life, and you have always learned. Thank you very much, Vladimir. Jim?